the Denver Broncos featured in primetime yet again. And the results subpar. are entertaining. <laughs> oh, I, was, I, I hate to say it's it. a great, great first quarter. It was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was perfect. What did he start? 10 for 10? 10 for 10. Yeah. Q, yeah. Q was sitting there like, I told you they was going to turn yeah. it around. <laughs> I told you they told me they was going to turn well, it around. I, I wasn't thinking that. Oh. I, I literally was watching it thinking, well, this is nice. We've got a little scoring in a primetime game, and I feel like that, that's been a struggle uh, in recent weeks in primetime games. That is true. And uh, then we had what ensued after that. I, the funny thing is, oh no, oh no, I, I was more, I was more surprised by all the penalties. Like that was the thing that stood out to me. Where I was like, my goodness, there's a lot of penalties in this. I mean, what, what Denver? They had like 150 yards in penalties. Like, like Nathaniel Hackett can say whatever he wants about the scheme, his players, execution. Hey, man. You're giving up 150 yards of penalties. Like, that's a direct indictment on you as a coach. Like, that's usually how this works. You got to figure out a way of putting players on there that aren't putting you guys in a hole. Or, you know, you got to start teaching better technique. I mean, and to me, this, this always goes back to training camp where everyone's like, man, this team doesn't hit very often. Seems like a kind of fluffy training camp where they're, they're, they're not doing a lot of things out there. It's kind of hard to be good at football when you don't practice football and you're practicing other things. So um, credit uh, the, the Chargers, obviously, and, uh, and Hopkins got a gutsy, just a gutsy God, man, just gutting kicker. it out, man. Just gutting it out. Gutting it out. But, uh, one leg at all. Just one incredible leg. stuff. One How about leg. it? Yeah. Um, but penalties in the red zone seem to still be eluding the, uh, the Denver Broncos at this point. They just cannot score in the red zone. I, I would be upset thoroughly. If I was a Denver Bronco defender, because they give this Broncos team yeah. an opportunity to win every single time they go out there. And you know what it gets overlooked by? Corny ass Russell Wilson. <laughs> like, and you hate to put it that way, but that's, that's <laughs> do, almost do like, you, hold on. I, well, do, I, do I, I want to hate to put it that way. I, I guess I do. I don't do know. Do you hate to? I don't know that I hate to. I'm media. So I, I enjoy anything that gives us something great to talk about. That's, you know, people well, want to listen to. Let's talk about the to. suit. Like, let's talk about the suit. Let's talk about the suit, man. Yeah. Like the dude, listen, he looked very nice. I, I thought that that was a tremendous pivot from the shiny suit man. All right. With the boat tie. Yeah, oh, I, the green, I, the lime green one. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought that was that was a like he pivoted, and it, this was more along the lines of just being dressed very well going to the game. Like I, I was okay with the suit he had going on. You know, it's just to me, and I mean, you got to be who you are. I don't have a problem with him being who he is. I just is, is that is that who he is though? Like that's, that's a more great question. Thing. That's a that's great more question, the issue, right? Q, that's it's it's a valid question. It's a great question, and even a bigger question is 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 this who his teammates perceive him to be as the person that he is? Like we hear all these great things that he does, but it's like you're this person that is a God fearing man. You're a family man. You do charitable works. You do so many great things, but you just come across as such an arrogant dude. And I don't, I don't understand how that works and how that's happened or how, wh- whatever it may be. I don't know, but it just seems like people are really, really turned off by him. And and and, and maybe it's, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know. It just seems like people are really turned off by the way Russell Wilson is. Look, this got thrown out early on, and it was kind of, and and I, I thought this because it looked so bad week one. And it's only gotten worse ever since. But Nathaniel Hackett's looking at one and done territory. Am I wrong? Like that that's how bad I don't this think is you looking. Are. Yeah, it's bad. And 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 I you're not getting rid of Russell Wilson. They've already paid him, so he's not going anywhere. This is gonna be Nathaniel Hackett going one and one. It's it's a disaster of a situation. One and done. <laughs> yeah, and it looks it looks completely unfixable at this point to where I mean you got 
Look, like Russell Wilson can say after the game, well, you know, there's the, you know, there's no locker room divided. You know, we're on the same page and all that. But to oh, LeVar's talk to Melvin Gordon. Yeah. Do, like, okay, so, and, and so we do have this sound. Uh, this was Melvin Gordon, uh, who apparently is not being used all that often. He's had some fumble issues and some uh, some stuff like that happen in his time in Denver. And he was talking with NFL Network about, you know, the lack of playing time. Here was the Broncos running back. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a conversation that's had, but. You know, to tell you exactly what happened, I can't tell you because I don't know. Did Coach tell you at halftime that you wouldn't be a part of the offense in the second half? No, no one mentioned anything to me. What are you thinking in that moment? I'm just waiting for my number to get called so I can go out there and help my teammates. Um, you know, it was a close game. I felt like I could have helped um, make a difference, but, uh, you know, apparently not. So there's that. Things are going well, man. I mean, I got to tell you, like, I think uh, I, I just don't really understand. I, I guess I'm, I'm just at a loss for, you know, what exactly <laughs> has happened with him. I mean, we had three carries in the first quarter. Yeah. That was it. Eight yards. Three for eight. I mean, look, I, I, I'll put it this way. I think Latavius Murray is a good fit for what they're trying to do up front and, and the blocking schemes for his running style. That's, that's one of the reasons why I went and got him after Javante Williams went down. But it's just, I, I mean, there's not clear communication with a player who's I, I would assume they thought he was going to be the guy or at least, you know, part of that backfield. It seems like they just give him carries to give him carries. They're like, all right, get out of here. Not, not let everyone else play. And it, what's, what's odd to me is you can put together your scripted starters for the game. And for people to understand what that means, it's your first 15 plays. You know, you as a staff, you put them together, you go through them. That's what you're starting the game with. And that's going to be some of your best stuff because you know you're, you have an idea of what they're going to do. And that's what you're kind of figuring out in those first 15 scripted plays. You practice them, you rehearse them, you're ready to go. So they look so good, that opening you know, drive and quarter. You're watching it thinking, how can you look like that but then not be able to make adjustments and then just struggle the other three quarters and, and, and then overtime? Like mm-hmm. that's the bigger disconnecting question. But to your point – Jonas, there's no doubt in my mind, because of how he was hired, the Walton family has to be looking at this thinking, this guy's not it. I mean, if you, go, if you comb back through, too, even just his time as an offensive coordinator, I, I think when he was back with the Bills, I want to say he was, like, ranked somewhere like 19th, 26th in offense. You know, you could go back through the Green Bay Packers and, and look for some success there, but... He wasn't calling plays. That was Lafleur, And so I, I, I kind of I, – I sit here and look at it and go, I'm wondering kind of what they were basing some stuff off of. You know, I'm wondering what, you know, they feel like they really had in him outside of a recommendation from Matt Lafleur saying, yeah, like this guy's one of my guys. He's, you know, good at, good at you know, game playing what he, di- what he does because ultimately you can't take credit for calling plays if you're not actually the guy doing it. It's just uh, what a disaster. They're top three in yards allowed per game on defense, top four in points allowed, and they're sitting with two wins on the season. Like I, I just, I, and who I you think they're blaming that on? Oh, I mean, it's going to be Nathaniel Hackett's going to be the fall guy. Contractually, he's going to be the fall guy. It's just the the. But prob- who do you think they're really blaming it on? Russell Wilson. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Because- oh, but he won't be the he won't be the first person they move on from. No. Yeah, well, I'm we'll just saying, but there, right? But but just think about how interesting that gets. You you see that Hackett, uh, Hat, Nathaniel uh, Hackett. What what is it? Nathaniel Hackett. Yeah, Nathaniel that's Hackett. Yeah, Hackett. Hackett. He's not hacking it. Yeah, he's not hacking. <laughs> he's not hacking it. I, I, yeah. But but I'll tell you, you. Well, the, here's the deal. They're tied into Russell Wilson. This is like our Dak Prescott conversation. Them players aren't though. It, it, that doesn't matter. Oh, I right, mean, well, you, okay. It does so I'll put it, it this doesn't. Way. It, no, it doesn't because you can't cut him. His dead it. cap is in the nine figures for the next this year, next year, eighty five million two years from now. In twenty twenty four, it's fifty million twenty twenty five. Like you can't get out of this contract. Oh, I, I get that part. Soon. But the so players th- got to deal with it. Th- that's fine. But like the problem is, and then his cap hits get worse and worse. His cap hits go up to fifty five million. In a few years, that's going to make me dislike him more, <sighs> and that's and that's a problem because the players may not like him, but you're not going to be able to trade him somewhere else. And that's that's entertaining. 